We are learning new details about a man who ambushed a police officer in Philadelphia. The gunman fired 13 shots at very close range as the officer sat inside his police cruiser. CBS 4's Justin Finch is live in Philadelphia with the latest. Justin, good afternoon. Lauren, good afternoon. Police sources telling us this noon they have a full confession from this suspect. They say he told them he opened fire on this officer, shooting him 13 times in the name of Islam. I want to pull up a photo for you now. This is new this noon. Police say it is taken from surveillance camera, showing a still image of this suspect. They say hovering over this cruiser and firing at very close range inside. This officer was hit three times, and this noon he is on the road to recovery. About midnight Friday, Officer Jesse Hartnett made a frantic call for help. Hartnett was ambushed at point blank range, police say, while inside his cruiser. Hartnett's father got the news soon after. They knocked on my door and they were ringing my phone, and I woke up and I seen Philadelphia police. Police say Officer Hartnett returned fire, taking down the suspect as he tried to run away. This is absolutely one of the scariest things I've ever seen. I mean, this guy tried to execute the police officer. The police officer had no idea he was coming. Hartnett hit the suspect at least three times, and the gunman was taken into custody. The 33-year-old officer fighting back despite three gunshots to his arm. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross. He just walked right up on top of him, and, and he's firing the entire time. And, uh, Again, it's just, just very, very sad. Newly elected Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney is calling for more gun control. There are too many guns, too many guns on our streets, uh, and I think our national government needs to do something about that. Meantime, Hartnett's father knows his son has one more fight ahead. Me tough road. He's a tough guy. He's an excellent Philadelphia officer. And Lauren, this fight will include overcoming broken bones and possible nerve damage, we are told. Throughout the overnight and morning, this officer has had his family, friends, and girlfriend at his bedside. We have also learned this noon the FBI is joining in this investigation. Lauren, that is the latest from Philadelphia. Now back over to you. Justin Finch, live for us in Philadelphia. Thank you for that report.